Hello everyone, welcome back to Judgment. Glad that you can make it once again. We had a lot of very intense fighting happening last time as we tried to get to Hamura. That cane guy that we met randomly on the street earlier was there and he was fighting us the whole way through and um, he was pretty tough. He had a lot of tricks up his sleeve and the last fight I kind of messed up on because I guess you were supposed to turn on the light but I could see fine so I didn't think like oh it's dark I have to turn on the light so it made it really hard to hit him but we got through it we also fought Hamra and we're about to interrogate him so let's see how that goes thank you guys for watching enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the comments AD9's dark human experiments the mole who facilitated them. As Yagami gets closer to the truth, the trap is sprung. Details come at the cost of Kaito's blood. And each word that Hamura, the Matsugane family captain, speaks pulls back the veil a little further. Here we go. Get your fucking hands off me. <clears throat> <laughs> this is as good a spot as any. You need any instruments. You just ask me. Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Now, I think it's about time we got some answers. And you're gonna give them to us. I don't like being an interrogator. Should we take it from the top? First off, the one in control of all this is Shono, the 89 researcher. How long have you been working for him? Murdering for him? I already have a pretty good idea. How about I guess? <laughs> First time you used the mole was... Hashiki. We've been through this before. Right? For Hashiki, the vice director of the ADDC. He got beat to death six months ago, as you well know. <laughs> Hashiki had a secret deal with Chairman Kajihira. Together, they were going to poke holes in this 89 business and bring the ADDC to its knees. But Shono, the researcher in charge of the drug, had a big secret he needed to keep hidden. Hashki's little investigation posed a big problem. That is, until he got beaten down in the back streets of Kamurocho. Hashki was fatally wounded by the mole and survived for another three weeks. That kept suspicion off Shono and left practically no evidence. Only the most skilled killer could pull something like that off. In other words, the assassin you and Shono have been using. <laughs> Think you struck a nerve. You're a real crack detective, Yagami. You know, I personally funded his time at law school. He never would have passed the bar without me. No shit. I'd say you made a good investment. Paying off in spades. Uh, do you mind? <laughs> kind of in the middle of something here. Can you guys Sorry. go bond somewhere else? <laughs> Question Hamura. Doc, what are you going to ask next? Who the mole is. Hamura's the only one who knows his true identity. <laughs> You're doing good, Yagami. Just let me know if you need the instruments. <laughs> I'm getting a kick out of this guy. Okay. Where's the mole right now? So, where's your friend? No clue. But he'll be here soon enough. All three of you are dead where you stand. 
He says the mole's on his way here. Oh, is he now? I'd love to have a chat with the lad. Keep dreaming, pal. He'd wipe the floor with your backcountry ass. Enough, Hamra. Tell us who the mole is and how you started working with him. Have those instruments handy? Coming right up. Oh, God. All right, all right, I'll talk. That's almost a shame. I like when it's tool time. Now, who is the mole? At first, he was just an informant feeding off the chaos that breeds in Camarocho like flies. An informant? Yep, and he was trained by one of the best in the business. Rose to prominence after the cops busted his mentor. And that made the mole the top guy in the biz. One of those situations where the student surpassed the master. Nobody could beat his intel. Could get his hands on anything you needed to. Guns, forged documents, you name it. Before long, we'd formed a nice little partnership. Started making a name for ourselves. Thinking about it, it's been about 20 years now. And? Keep talking, or it's tools. Once I got the gig as captain of the Matsugane family, I started relying on him even more. Let me tell you, the guy could dispose of a corpse like it was the easiest damn thing in the world. He had nerves of steel. And he's never even sworn up. Flash forward to a couple years ago, he said he was ready to start doing hits. That's when my... <laughs> big chance finally came. So it was the mole who brought the assassinations to the table. Who's the real Yakuza here? Honestly... I wasn't that big on the whole murder thing. But the dangerous shit's what really brings in the cash. So, I started touting his services around the darker side of Kamarocho. <laughs> Felt like I added a new dish to my menu. And that's this where is Shono no time comes for in. Jokes, you fool. What, you don't approve of my methods? This city will swallow you whole if you don't got the cash. And protecting the family name doesn't come cheap. Huh. You think Kaido could have toughed it out with all his swagger? We'd have vanished by now. But with enough money, who knows? We could have rode it to the top of the Tojo clan. Wasn't that always part of the dream, boss? It was, yes. But not anymore. Uh... That's so. <laughs> That's funny, because I spent my entire life chasing that dream for you. The goal you fucking told me to strive for! Let's get back on topic, shall we? He's mad. He's mad, Tell mad. Me this. You started shopping the mole services around. What then? What happened? <sighs> Was it long till we got our first hit? Our mark was Hashki, vice director of the ADDC. And Shono's the one who hired you? So I heard. He always contacted me through someone else. I see. So was, there was a middleman that connected the Kamurocho Yakuza to the ADDC. Guy by the name of Ishimatsu. Short little guy. Always had this creepy fucking smile on his face. It does look creepy. At the time, we all thought this was going to be a one-off. Didn't do much prying, you know. Never even knew why they wanted the guy dead. We just took the 10 mil and did what we were asked. They wanted him to die discreetly though, right? Pretty much. So he did. Ishimatsu took a real shine to us after that. A few months later, he was back with another job. And that was? Well, 
gathering test subjects for their 89 experiments and disposing of the bodies. That's where the Kyori people came in? So you just want me to abduct these Kyori guys? You don't want them dead? That is correct. Sounds creepy and too. your reward is a hundred million yen each. Damn. Huh. Money Real talks. funny. Last time it was ten for a hit job. Why give us so much more to kidnap a few guys? <laughs> funny you should ask that. It could very well end up being more than just a few guys. We're not quite sure how many we might want. Perhaps just one. Or maybe even ten might not be satisfactory. Ten, huh? The key point is, we expect this to be a long-term partnership. Given the sensitive nature of this task, naturally we expect the utmost secrecy. I sincerely hope this 100 million conveys the importance of that. What about the Kyori guys? What happens to them, huh? It's unfortunately likely that they'll end up dead. Excuse me if this is presumptuous, but considering the amount I'm offering, would that also cover the body disposal? Or would that, uh, cost extra? Drop the fucking act, asshole! <sighs> Where are you getting that kind of money, huh? A hundred mil just to kill one goddamn Yakuza? <laughs> I actually never said you needed to kill anyone. I only requested that you bring them to us. And then, you would just dispose of the evidence. I don't see where this is going. You think the Yakuza are your tool? You don't understand. My only role is delivering the message. My employer, he's the root of all of this. And... You have no idea how many billions of yen he has to ensure his objectives are achieved. What? If you pull that trigger right now, who knows how decisive the retribution might be. Those billions could instead be shifted toward erasing you. What was that? Just think about it. How long will you be able to survive? Use your head, Captain Hamura. There's no escape. Once you agreed to meet with me today, you all but guaranteed your participation and your compliance. Cocky little bastard, isn't he? So I strongly suggest you put the gun away. Does that make sense? Sounds like Hamra might have got in over his head a bit here. Can't even back out you now. Are seriously that big, huh? Tell me more. Talk. Allow me to answer your question. It's true that we have access to vast amounts of money, yes. But we're not the violent organization you think we are. Oh yeah? Who are you? Ishimatsu Superior. The name's Ichinose. The only reason I'm choosing to show you my face is because I've decided to trust you. And because I want you to understand how far we're willing to go to bring our plan to fruition. My name's Shono, Captain. I'm currently researching a brand new drug called AD9, a drug that could very well save Japan, or, or, or maybe even the world if... A new drug, huh? Where do I come in? The reality of the situation is, we are under intense pressure to complete our work on AD-9 expediently. To that end, Hamura-san, we'd like to ask for your assistance. Ichinose. So the Ministry of Health is in on this too. It goes all the way up. Sounds like he's Maybe kind of does. the one in charge of it. You familiar with the medical? Doesn't institute? really seem like Shono's the one calling the shots. 
at least not initially. And we were thinking that, um, shit. What's his name? Okido wasn't even really aware. At least, I guess, initially, no. But then later, yes, he was brought in. So I, I guess that makes sense. Okay. The Medical Institute. That's the organization that runs the ADDC. Yeah. It's home to the ADDC. And it makes a comfy place for all the health ministry execs to go retire. Well, it just so happens that the guy who founded it 20 years ago was none other than Ichinose. He rode that success all the way up to vice minister. In other words, his whole legacy's riding on the ADDC. AD9's gotta come out on top for him to stay on top. And he's willing to murder to make sure that happens? Yep. Ichinose is not the only one profiting either. There are tons of parties involved. All being promised this much cash or that favor. If people have to die for AD9 to succeed, so be it. What do you think about all this, Matsugane? In the end, maybe it was my own incompetence that led Hamura down this path. Ah. This shit got real serious real quick, didn't it? We in over our heads? We might be. Just as much as Hamura is. Why did you pick Kyori clan Yakuza as test subjects? Here's a question. Why'd you go after Kyori guys for the experiments? Just following Shono's orders. Shono told you to? Yep. He said there was a chance of the subject dying when we gave him the AD-9. Now, if regular old civilians started disappearing, that'd make the news in no time. But nobody'd notice a few missing Yakuza during a turf war. Only natural there'd be some casualties, yeah? I guess so. That wasn't the only reason, though. Shono said <laughs> he didn't want to perform dangerous experiments on innocent civilians. And what, these Yakuza deserve this somehow? The Kajihira group was the one trying to shut down the ADDC to begin with. And the Kyore were Kajihira's lapdogs. A couple of dead thugs didn't weigh on him too much. But don't shoot the messenger. Shono's the one who said it. You'll keep talking if you know what's good for you. Unless you want to go back to the hard way, I'm all for it. What else could you possibly want to know? Who's the mole? Actually, I've got one more thing. Oh yeah? You made it sound earlier like you weren't that involved in the killings. But that's not the whole truth, is it? In fact, I have something that shows you actively helped carry out the Kyore killings. We do? The proof that Hamura took part in attacking the Kyori clan is... Uh... Well, I mean, he... This one? He brought one of the victims into the club before they ended up dead. So, yes, Hamura was definitely involved in at least one of the murders. Okay, I'm going to use this, um, security footage here. Take a look at this. Check this out. Look familiar? It's camera footage of you abducting Kume. So tell me, why'd you take the fall? They even got your face on tape. You're not usually that sloppy. Hmm. <laughs> Answer me. That was right after we axed two Curie guys, one after another. They started catching on. Wouldn't go around town alone anymore. Keep going. When you're marked that on guard, 
Nobody's laying a hand on him. Not even a trained assassin. So the mole needed a hand. Someone he could trust to get the ball rolling. And that someone was me. So what happened after you left Amor? My guy took Kume out the back. Loaded him in the trunk of a car. Took him to Shono. Just like all the other 89 tests. To the ADDC? No, not the center. I'm not sure where it is exactly. Someplace Shono and the Mole set up. So they carried out their human experiments in some kind of secret lab? Suppose they did. Then why'd they need to gouge the eyes out? No clue. He never told me. Maybe he wanted to make it look like a Yakuza killing. <laughs> or maybe the mole's just into some sick shit. Or maybe the drug does something to their eyeballs. <laughs> What's next on the list? Keep the fucking pressure on this shithead. He is enjoying this a bit too much. In my opinion. Next up is Shintani. He had nothing to do with the Kyore clan, but you guys still used him as an AD9 test subject. Or was there some other reason you had him killed? Shintani's death. That was my fault. Huh? When we took care of Kume, I was the one on the hook for it. Let me tell you, ending up in the slammer for a murder you didn't do is scary shit. Made me think, wouldn't hurt to have some insurance. Insurance? Talked to Shintani before the trial, and told him this. If the pieces fall into place and I hang for this, look into Shono at the ADDC. That's why he called so you Shono. Told him about the deal you made with Ichinose. Not exactly. Shono was the only name I mentioned. But if anyone found out I spilled the beans to Shintani, well, I'd be betraying the cause. So I told the bastard, only go digging if shit really hits the fan. But he went digging anyways. Why did he call Shono if he knew it was that important to you? Why'd he start digging it up? Beats me. Got a pretty good theory though. You wanna hear? Yeah, do tell. I guess. He didn't want to let you hog all the glory. Huh? He might have won my trial, but you're the one who found the key evidence. Shintani got recognition, sure, but it was only by association. Nobody said it, but they all knew. You did the real work. But even then, you didn't stop trying to show up the poor guy. Right when the trial came to a close, there you were, hunting the real killer down. How do you think Shintani felt, sitting around waiting for you to stumble onto the truth? <laughs> Can't imagine he was sleeping well. <laughs> you might as well let this mole shit go. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do you? Come on. The mole is way bigger than you know. Shintani wanted to find the truth before you did. Wanted to earn his time in the sun. And that's why he called the ADDC? To investigate the killings himself? That's my theory. Can't back it up, though. Either way, the end result was the same. Ichinose found out Shintani was trying to get in touch with Shono. Signed his own death sentence. I'm sure it was plain as day that I was the guy who put him on the right trail. Wait a minute. So if Shintani got offed just for attempting to call Shono, how come the mole hasn't come after us? We've been all up in the ADDC for like multiple days. <laughs> we have protagonist powers. <laughs> All right. So, I had no choice but to silence Shintani. I even paid for the job out of my own pocket. And when it came to setting up a fall guy, we picked Ayabe. 
First, we got his gun. The mole was the one who used it to kill Shintani. He replaced the one bullet he fired, got rid of any traces that he used it, and put it back in Ayabe's holster. That meant that the bullet found in the body would have the rifling marks from his gun. Which meant it was an unshakable fact that Shintani was shot with Ayabe's weapon. Face it, Ayabe's alibi isn't gonna hold water. The guy doesn't even remember who attacked him? Right. Nobody will buy that. Never. Fair enough. Although, what if we caught the mole and then forced you to testify in the trial? <laughs> what? What are you sniffing? Is the mole here? What was that? What's wrong? It smells like something's burning. What? <laughs> My boys must have finally decided to show up. You really want to meet the mole? Now's your chance. Matsugane san, we gotta go. You too. Get up. I'm gonna go ahead and suggest you let me walk away, boss. If I give the order, the family will fall back. At least then you'd live. Isn't that what you want? That's enough! If this Ministry of Health business is true, you're nothing more than a pawn to them. True. From where they stand, I'm sure you could be replaced. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. You're an idiot, Hamura. Huh? Come on. They said they took the Kyori guys to a place that Ichinose, I think, and the mole set up. So the mole is already like. It's the Matsugane! They don't need Hummer as the middleman anymore. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Captain! Oh, Murase! How many they got? Captain! Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> Rip Murase! That's it, they're so fucking dead! Hey! How did you pull off turning my family into goddamn terrorists? Fuck! Jesus! No trace of him left! Dude, what the hell? Yo, let's crack some heads. Fighting time. Right, leave Hammer up to me. During this battle, enemies will attack Matsugane and attempt to help Hamura. If Matsugane's health runs out, the game will end. Be aware of your surroundings and protect Matsugane. Stay back! Stay the fuck back! <laughs> this is kind of weird. Oh, 
I'm on fire. Hey! Back the fuck up. Back the fuck up. Okay, one like punch took quite a bit of his health. He's like halfway. Okay, which way are we going? Oh. How are they gonna go after their own freaking leader, man? Their own patriarch. I like how everyone's just watching. Far so good. Are they good? Okay, yeah. What is he saying? Oyuji something something. They're asking him to. They're asking Matsugane something. Maybe like forgive me or something. How convenient. Oh great. Okay, Doc. I'm fine. All right, got it. Just burning to death. It's it's all good. Anybody want to split a bento with me? Yagami! Fuck! You guys are crazy. I'll handle this. Stay back. I'm gonna turn you apart. Okay, Ozaki. Ooh, he was tough the first time I fought him. Looks like he's still tough. Oh god. Oh god. My God. Oh, ow. Not so fast. Oh, he held on to the gun. That's impressive. Yeah. 
We're almost there. We almost got him. Get out of that fire. Shit. Grabs the grabs. You're on fire. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was kind of fun. Haha. <laughs> Got a tiger drop in or two. Oh, man. Shoya is getting messed up. I think we should help him. Oh, this guy. Captain, you okay? Matsugane-san? <laughs> Shioya's crazy, isn't he? There's something, something off about him. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Is that... Is that the mole? By Humra? Don't! Oh, come on. Matsugane! Hold on. Hamra is not supposed to die here. Break this asshole! I would not. Motherfucker! Boss, why, why did you? After all I did. So that was the mole, right? I would have done the, the same if I was him. You knew too much. I wish I wasn't right. You're too damn soft. You didn't... You didn't have to protect me. When I heard what you said, I knew you were right. This is all my fault. No, it's not. I wasn't very good at the business side. And because of that, you had to protect the family by crossing the line. There were signs, of course. I wasn't ignorant. I, I looked the other way. And just never asked where the money came from. It was easier that way. I'm not going to blame you for, for all of that. You just did what you had to. I'm sorry. No, not like this. Don't go. Uh, I wanted to... I wanted to... To make up for... It was the... The only way. You old fool. You didn't need to go that far. Uh, I only did... What any father would have. Masagane san! Just hold on. <laughs> Doc, my boy. This is 
it for me. Hurry and get out. Not without you. Let's go. Ooh, that's pretty tragic when you really think about Hummer's situation. This all started because he was the mole is Karoiwa. What? Now you know the truth. Karoiwa is the one you want. That wimpy guy? Yes, he not wimpy after all. The mole seems like, from what we've seen of him, he seems so much like bigger, like Saijima level of like hugeness. And Kuroiwa just looks like an average guy. What? It's a big coat. I guess so. He doesn't look, the nose look, doesn't look like Kuroiwa's either. What? I gotta see this guy's nose again. Oh my god. And Patriarch Matsugane? He... He didn't make it. Oh no. Did not ex I did not see that Kuroiwa. one coming. You know... Huh? Did you say something? Let's... <laughs> so... <laughs> so... <laughs> What, whenever, like, these games like to, or just mystery, like, games in general, when there's a who done it, who's the person behind all this, it's always somebody that you've been exposed to, right? But I just, I haven't really even been thinking, like, who it might be. I haven't even been, like, thinking about it. I've just been, like, rolling through it, you know? I've just been going through and... I almost was thinking that this mole was going to be somebody that we hadn't even seen yet. Like, this really caught me by surprise. Okay. Kuroiwa. Back at the center of the crime scene, eh, Yagami? What the hell are you doing here? Yagami-kun, what's going on? I guess he is Don't kind of a big Fujisa. guy. A little we just need to have taller a little than us. At the station. No, he needs to get to a hospital. Hm. It looks fine to me. I'll watch after him otherwise. Are you a doctor now? He needs professional attention. Enough protesting. He'll be just fine with me. You don't even have a reason. It's okay. I'll go with you. I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. You had yourself one hell of a night, huh, Yagami? Doesn't seem like it's ending anytime soon. <sighs> Could you at least take these off? Or am I gonna get booked? Afraid I can't. Wouldn't you know, someone went and lost the key. <sighs> Hamura told me everything. Told you what? Told me who you really are. You killed Vice Director Hashiki. You mutilated those Yakuza. And Shintani's all you too. I'm on to you. Well, that's a good story. But there's only one detective here. Let's start with the cabaret and what you were doing there. I know that you're the mole. I'm the one asking the questions around here, so... You aren't denying it. <laughs> this smug-ass motherfucker. Why don't you start by telling me what you were doing when you first noticed the fire? Hamura getting away is what's gonna bring you down for good. You really missed your big chance. And can you tell me who started the fire, at least? Yagami's Matsugane got some- Matsugane-san is dead because of you. Balls! 
telling him so the moment I get out your ass is mine <laughs> let's see you try like I don't think you realize 89 gives me complete immunity I'm talking about people that go all the way up the chain here they see everything when it comes to protecting 89's interests, there's no limit to what they'll do. Hamura is a loose end that I'll take care of eventually. And that's a fate you'll both share. This won't end with you alive. I don't mind that. All that matters is proving that you murdered them. <laughs> if you think you scare me, sorry. You has been fraud. Karoiwa-san? There's a call for you. Just one second. Should I take over? Nah. I'm through here. The fire at the cabaret. Tojo clan and Kyore clan Yakuza are both responsible for starting it. Luckily, Yagami-san just happened to be nearby and saw the whole thing. This case is closed. Thank you for your time. I'll escort you out then, Yagami-san. That voice. Who's that? <sighs> oh, Kim. Kim? I missed you. I missed the days when the only... The, the worst thing I had to contend with was Kim uh, texting me about the damn... Whatever. Fuck. Okay. Um, I think another another reason why that like whole reveal was um, so much more impactful was because we we weren't expecting like him to just blurt it out at that very moment. No, the the other guy, not Kuroiwa, but the 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 dude who was like who came in. He sounded really familiar. Just some rando? The voice sounded really familiar. Okay. I think there's a there's like a couple side things I want to try to do. And then that's probably pretty much it. Was he also Yuri? Maybe that's what I was thinking. Really, guys? Matana. Okay, so I need to do a quest about cats, and it's on a rooftop. I, that's all I remember. I believe I need to do that to unlock the the Twisted Trio, the last one. Matana. Oh yeah, it is the building with the cat cafe. Now where was that again? Hi, Mister. Oh is shit. Yagami? Where did? Who the yeah. fuck? Who's asking? I have a present for you. What is it? Is it a bomb? I don't know. Some guy told me to give it to you. He said he was a friend. That's oh, suspicious. And he said to open it right away. Oh. What? It is. Oh. What? Wonderful, Yagami-san. Such stunning reflexes. You even avoided doing any property damage. Mm -hmm. Well, did you enjoy my present? It was given to me as a gift by an old business partner of mine. Who the hell are you? Are you in it with that bomber guy? Pardon my rudeness. This is my car. Koga? Oh, you don't know me? 
Não. Sim. Sim. In that case, perhaps I should start over. My name is Matsuhisa Koga, one of the Keihin Four. Oh. I came to see what all the fuss is about. And introduce you to my way of doing things. We're we gonna fight him right now. You know, our reputation has taken quite a hit thanks to your antics. That being the case, it falls to me to put a stop to this farce. You guys are the farce. <laughs> Enough talk. Show me what you can do, Yagami san. I was gonna go to a restaurant to eat food. So much for that. All right. I have 11,000. Let's boost our health. A new song. Mother. Dirty tricks, mister? Oh my god, I have so much HP now. My HP bar is so big. This guy has his own soundtrack. Got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. go Woo, man the Keihin gang leaders are not nothing to scoff at man those guys are tough yeah, you're as strong as they said you'd be it seems fortune is not on my side today I surrender you win huh already in the business world one must always know when to withdraw. 
If Matsuhisa Koga lost to some thug on the street, our reputation would be in tatters. My business partners would never take me seriously again. I don't know why they would to begin with. Now I must retire. Until the day I get revenge. Farewell, Yagami-san. Bye. <laughs> Can't these guys just leave me alone? Apparently not. Here's a new friendship. I know we need a certain friend. We need to make a certain friend to finish up with Yosuke. So... Maybe it's this one that just popped up. I don't know. This one, Earth Angel, is available too now. That's probably Mama. Maybe. Could be a, a customer. I can send Mr. Try and hit me? Really? To, to her? I thought I went over there since I ma made friends with Mr. Try and hit me and talked to Yosuke, but maybe not. No. 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 Is that Kane Man? Or is that his twin? Or is that a look-alike? It can't be. I know those pants anywhere. That is him. This bitch. Huh? What the? What are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Huh? Cane man! Question mark. What? No cane this time? Well, you're gonna be walking away with crutches. Nani? Cane? Crutches? The heck? Oh, is that not him? Wait, don't tell me. You must be Yagami. The one my little brother's been harping on about. It is a brother. Oh my goodness. Hmm? I guess they're identical twins, like minutes apart from each other. I'm gonna. S they dress the same. Little brother. Yeah, I'm Ryo Suzaki. And the guy you fought at the Soleil building? Soleil building? <laughs> He's my twin brother. Though I'm not a Yakuza like him. Nah. Oh, so that's what's going on. You almost had me for a minute there. But dang, you guys look so alike. You even wear the same clothes. <laughs> so, he even started copying my outfit? <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. <sighs> He's always been trying to one-up me ever since we were kids, the little turd. So he looks up to you, huh? I'll assume you're a respectable citizen then? <laughs> yeah, right. My idea of a good day is waking up and drinking till I'm sick, then drowning out my thoughts with more alcohol till sundown. So you're saying you're an alcoholic? <laughs> ah, alcoholic is such a harsh term. I'm more what you'd call a free spirit. Someone who consumes the spirits freely. <sighs> Wow, guess you both have changed a lot since you were kids. Sure enough. Now I tell you what, Yagami-san, drinks are on me today. To make up for all the trouble my little brother caused you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, but on only one condition. You gotta outdrink me to earn it. Loser treats the winner. Those are the rules. So that's how you've been weaseling free drinks out of people. Nice try, but I'm not falling for it. <laughs> Did I scare you away? You're free to run along if you can't take the pressure. Except I upgraded my skills. You talk like you're a pretty heavy drinker, but then again, so am I. Ready to start when you are. Now you're talking. Then let's get our drink on. <laughs> well, well. Looks like you can hang after all. Good, because I'm just getting warmed up. This game is promoting unhealthy habits. Huh, you sure can't ha handle your liquor, but can you handle another round? I can handle like four more. Huh, I guess you really weren't all talk. Why don't we call it a yeah. day? Sure. Damn, never thought I'd lose when it comes to drinking booze. I gotta rebuild myself from scotch or er, scratch. <laughs> guess today's drinks are on my dime, eh? Those are the rules. Okay. Sorry about that. And cheers to you then. This game is mostly mostly unhealthy habits and savage beatings. Yes. True. True. 
You would be correct. 